Hello once again, I am Jim Ducar with TND How Videos. Today we will watch part two of our video on a highway crossing near San Antonio, Texas. Our participating utility is Pedernales Electric Cooperative, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now, if you watched day one, you saw that this is the receiving end of the rope, which will be the transmitting end of the cable going back across the highway. The other thing you saw from day one to day two is the weather got a whole lot nicer. And what you see here is a crew attaching what is called a Kellum grip onto a conductor to be pulled across the highway. See, they're working to make sure they get a very secure connection onto that conductor, including uh, strapping in, crimping in a couple of metal bands. They're going to hold that grip to the conductor very tightly and securely. And in fact, even once they get that first one tight, now they're going to do another one, another band, tighten it up and even tape it up beyond that. And so here you can see them actually making the connection between the rope on the ground and the conductor with the Kellum grip that we've just seen. So now you can see that connection, you see the black tape on it there, and we'll watch that as we start to pull this rope back through the dollies and spools up on the line. You see it here, you're going to see in just a moment, you're going to see that sort of connection or junction point just on top of the trees there as it's going up. And then as we jump ahead and continue, it's now going to go right up to the cross arm itself. And now you can hear maybe some of the radio chatter that's going on between the two sides of this highway crossing. And as we zoom in, you see that connection point again. And now we're going to zoom back out and notice how the spool in the bottom right corner is still turning. As we come back in one more time, you're going to see that connection point has already moved to the second bucket in this line. And now we're jumping back across the highway to the destination point for this cable pole. And then we go to a shot of our bore drum puller and bull wheel tensioner that we saw in Highway Crossing Part 1 of this video and the green rope is being pulled in by that tensioner. And now we take a shot back up towards the receiving end of this rope pull and conductor pull and you're going to see the connection point coming in on the left of the screen as it moves left to right across the screen here. They're going to pull it about 10 feet past the dolly that they've got attached to this pole. You're going to see him signal in a moment down to the tensioner that he's got enough. See that hand signal there? So now the conductor has been received on this end of the pole. So now we can watch that same operation from the vantage point of a GoPro on the lineman's hard hat up in the bucket. We use GoPro cameras for training purposes. You see this connection point go through the dolly to the other side of the pole and cross arm. Now another lineman is going to use a hoist to tie off this side of the conductor. So now one more shot back towards the ground. You can see the connection point between the rope and the conductor. Yeah, we got it cut off. And the remaining task will be for this video will be to use ratchet cutters to cut the excess conductor beyond the pole away so they can make the dead end connection. So now as we pan back across State Highway 281 just north of San Antonio, Texas, you will see a new energized road crossing of three conductors plus a neutral. And that concludes our TND How video on a highway crossing part two. Our participating utility was Pedernales Electric Cooperative. And this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you so much for watching.